Sometimes you might need to update a query by inserting a new field, delete a field or rearrange existing fields. To open an existing query, right click on the query name in the navigation pane and select design view from the shortcut menu. Insert new fields in the grid by dragging a field from a field list window in the tables pane above and dropping it onto a column in the grid. The fields after that column are moved to the right. Double clicking a field in a field list adds the new column at the far right position in the grid. Remove a field from the grid by selecting the field and pressing the delete key. The field selector is the thin gray area at the top of each column. To select the description field, move the mouse pointer until a dark downward arrow is visible in the field selector and then click on it. Now press delete to remove the field. You can also right click a field selector bar and choose cut from the shortcut menu. You can see the field is deleted. The left to right order in which fields appear in the grid determines the order in which they appear in datasheet view. To rearrange the fields, first select the field you want to move. With the field selected, you can move the field by simply dragging it to a new position. Click on the field selector bar of the selected field and you will see a white arrow with a dotted rectangle at the bottom. While holding down the mouse button, drag the field into a new position in the grid. As you move the selected field column separator, gets wider to show where the field will go. The field will be dropped after the column separator. You can also move multiple fields together. Select multiple contiguous fields by clicking the first field you want to select and then dragging across the field selector bars of the other fields. Now click on any of the field selector bars of the selected fields and drag and drop them where you want. You can see the fields are moved. You can adjust the column width by moving the mouse pointer to the margin between two fields and dragging the column resizer left or right. An easier way to resize columns is to double click the line dividing two columns in the grid. Access auto sizes the column to fit the names displayed in the column. The grid column width is not preserved when you save and close the query. While you are performing queries, you might want to show only some of the fields in the grid. A common reason to hide a field in the query is because the field is used for sorting or as criteria, but its value is not needed in the query results. For example, to see the order sorted by the order ID, even though the actual order ID is irrelevant for this particular purpose. You could simply include the order ID field in the grid, set the sort order for the order ID field and uncheck its show box. Run the query. Access sorts the data by order ID field even though the field is not shown in the query's results. If you save a query that has an unused field, its show box is unchecked and no criteria or sort order is applied to the field. Access eliminates the field from the query as part of the query optimization process. For example, uncheck the show checkbox for product ID field in the grid. Save and close the query. Next time you open the query, product ID won't be included in the query's design. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.